In this video, we will introduce another method, method of elimination, which is most convenient to be used to solve linear system of equations with two variables. Let's look at this example. We have a linear system of two equations with two variables, x and y. And to solve this system, of course, we can use the method of substitution that we learned previously. However, if you look at the coefficients of y in both equations, you will notice that the coefficients of y in both equations only differ by the sign. It is positive in one equation, negative in the other, which means that if we add these two equations together, then the variable y can be canceled out. And that is the method of elimination. So again, let's number these two equations, equation one and two. The first step is to simply add equations one and two together. So this is equation one, equation two, add them together. X plus three X is a four X and Y get canceled out. On the right hand side, five plus 13 is 18. So we achieve this third equation that only has one variable, which is X. Therefore, for step two, we can simply solve for x from equation three. And x equals to 4.5. And then for step three, we can choose either equation one or two to solve for y. Let's choose equation one. And since x equals to 4.5, from equation one, y equals to five minus x, therefore y equals to 0 0.5. Therefore, the solution to this system is x equals to 4.5 and at the same time y equals to 0 0.5. Let's look at this linear system of equations with two variables x and y and if we try to solve this system using the method of elimination as we introduced earlier we might find it not so obvious to do because unlike the previous example, in this example, if we look at the coefficients for either variable, they do not have that relation that they only differ in sign. But we can still use the method of elimination if we first manipulate the equations to achieve that relation in the coefficients. So again, let's number our equations one and two. And for this example, the very first step is to perform equation operations to achieve coefficients for one variable that only differ in sign. It is up to you which variable you want to work with. In this case, I'm going to start with x. And to achieve this new coefficient, normally we are looking for the least common multiple. And in this case, the coefficients for x are 5 and 3, therefore the least common multiple is 15. So for equation 1, I'm going to multiply it by negative 3, which means that every term in equation 1 is multiplied by negative 3. Therefore, the entire equation now becomes negative 15x minus 12y, and that equals to, for the right-hand side, 18 multiplied by negative 3, negative 54. For equation two, I'm going to multiply it by positive five. Again, the entire equation is multiplied by five. Therefore, it becomes positive 15x plus 25y equals to 145. And now for step two, if I add these two equations together, I notice that now variable x can be canceled out. Therefore, let me add them together x gets canceled out, so I'm left with 13y, that equals to negative 54 plus 145, and that is 91. Therefore, this is my equation 3, and from equation 3, I can easily solve for y, which is 7. And now, I can solve for x from either equation 1 or 2. Let me pick equation 1, and from equation 1, because y equals to 7 and 5x plus 4y equals to 18, I can solve for x to be negative 2. And this pair of values for x and y is the solution to this system, solved using the method of elimination.